What's up guys, it's your boy The Moon and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Today I wanted to talk about a subject that a lot of people have questions about that I get asked all the time. Where is the best place to level? So I kind of want to break this down uh, to really help you guys out. Um, the way that I kind of teach is you never do anything in this game that only benefits you in one way. For instance, so you're never just leveling, you're never just getting catalysts, you're never just six starring, you know, like uh, you always want to make sure to put yourself in a position uh, where you can win in more ways than one. So no matter what happens, you still win. Okay. Now, with that being said, you now, since I get asked the question all the time as to where's the best place to level, uh, the thing you guys got to understand about this game is that basically the harder the stage, the more XP you get. And that's about as basic as it gets. So, like, if you look at, you know, normal versus world, naturally, uh, in, like, the later stages of normal, so if you go out um, and you're doing, like, let's say you're doing, like, normal 9, 9, 1, 9, 2, you know, 10 or 8 or whatever, you're going to start to get about the equivalent of XP if you're doing world, world difficulty, okay, uh, around chapter 1 to 2, okay? Now, as you get to the higher difficulties of world 7, world 8, world 9, you know, etc., then the XP values are just going to increase, why? Because it's higher level monsters that you're up against. Um, so overall, you're going to get the best XP. Now, the balance of that, guys, the balance of that is this. If it takes you 15 minutes to clear a stage that, say, gives you 10k XP, and only like it only takes you one minute to clear a stage that gives you like 3,000 XP, then naturally the value it's going to be more valuable to run the stage that you can run more frequently if you if speed is an issue or time is an issue uh, that you want to resolve, right? Does that make sense? So that's going to be the key thing. Now, the other thing here is like players are like, well, where's the best place to level? Uh, to be honest, guys, like the cracks of the world are probably best bang for bucks. So like these S stages, like the cracks of the world, um, not those, these. These little guys right over here are probably like your best bet um, in terms of like where you should level or where the best place to level if you're just looking for the biggest XP. But to be honest, guys, uh, with the thought in mind that, you know, you never want to do things that only benefit you in one way is you're typically just going to be going to stages and you're going to be looking for the catalyst that drops that you need. So, for instance, like if I needed uh, Blessings of Orbis, this could be a stage that I can farm. Uh, a, a good way to look at it is, is if you go to Region Info and you go to Monster, it'll tell you all of the catalysts that drop in the particular stage that you're in. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, I need this uh, this Nyquil or <laughs> Dimetab or <laughs> whatever this is. You just hit go. It's going to take you to the stage that you can go to that you can potentially get it. And then you can decide based on the other or catalyst that you see um, if this is the stage that you want. Now, typically speaking, I like to go to stages that have... If I'm looking for a specific catalyst, I like to go to the stage that has less catalysts involved. Meaning, um, let's say if I'm looking for the Mercenary's Medicine for the NyQuil or the Diamond Tap here, uh, I'm looking for a stage that has this, maybe plus one, maybe two other catalysts like this. Um, and if there is multiple catalysts, like say for instance, like if you guys are going to 490, you guys are farming Blazing Souls for, for Yuna, um, then just make sure that those catalysts are also catalysts that you need for units that you're immediately building, okay? Um, then when you do that, it kind of positions yourself in a way uh, that will allow you to farm and still get XP, still 6-star stuff, and still get all the catalysts that you need. Um, now, getting them, and this is a whole other story that we're not, we're not going to talk about. <laughs> but that's going to be the things that you're going to take into consideration, guys. So... That's the biggest thing. That's the simplest way that I can really, really answer that question. I'm telling you guys, I get asked this question all the time. Because in this game, guys, it's not really a best place to level, per se. Um, like, if you guys are looking just in terms of, like, XP values, I know a lot of games have, like, oh, if you go to this specific stage based on this amount of time, based on this amount of farm, based on this amount of XP, it just makes sense. But in this game, there's so many other uh, things to take into consideration when you guys are looking for a leveling stage. Like I said, difficulty of the stage, time it takes, how much XP you get, what type of catalyst you need for awakening uh, and, or, you know, awakening and skill ups. Um, and, and that is honestly the biggest factor. And then from there, you can spe uh, specifically decide uh, where you're actually going to spend most of your time. So if you guys are in the beginning of the game and you guys are starting out and you're just starting to build stuff, guys... Um, that is the way that I would level, like find the stages that you need, especially if you guys have found that unit in the beginning that you got like, yo, this is my boo, or this is my guy, or whatever you guys are into. Um, you know, you guys have selected that hero and you're like, I want to get this person awake and I want to get him six starred, you know, whatever, whatever. Find the stage that benefits you the most to farm based on the catalyst that they need, plus of course the XP, and then farm there. 
easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know, don't be cheesy, all right? <laughs> um, so that's it, guys. So again, just a quick tip that I wanted to cover for you guys before we get on stream tonight. Um, well, for the app for post stream, so y'all can watch this, you know, after the stream. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy, Damone, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.